When will the rapture happen? Well, my friends, God has a divinely set point that that will take place. And I believe if we look at the Bible as a whole, we see that there are two big factors that will converge, an inverse relationship, if you will. The number of righteous people in the world will decline as wickedness grows. And at some point, when those converge at just the place God knows they need to be, he will take his people out of this world. Now, when we read the book of Genesis, chapters 18 and 19, we hear Abraham intercede with God on behalf of Sodom and Gomorrah. And he says, Lord, if there's still 50 righteous people in that city, will you destroy Sodom? And God says, no, I won't. And then Abraham goes on and whittles it down to just 10 people. Lord, if there are only 10 righteous, will you destroy the city? And God says, no, for the sake of 10, I won't. But the fact of the matter was that there weren't even 10 righteous people. There was just Lot, his wife and his daughters. And so God looked at the city and he saw that the wickedness, the evil, the turning against him, the perversion was so bad. And, and God knew that there was no one else in that city who was going to call upon him and going to be saved. So the number of righteous had declined to such a point that when those two things converged, God whisked Lot and his family out of the city. The Bible says he sent angels and literally grabbed Lot by the hand and drew him out before he brought judgment. And you know, Jesus likened the days of his return to the days of Lot and Sodom. And I think that the Bible makes it clear that as we go toward the end times, the amount of false teaching will increase, lawlessness will increase, wickedness will just continue to grow. And because of false teaching, there will be people who think they're Christians and they're not. The number of actually righteous people who trust in the blood of Jesus Christ for their salvation is going to continue to decline. And there will come a point where God says, you know what, the last person who is going to call upon me as Savior in this time has done so. I believe that's why uh, Peter tells us that God's return, the return of Jesus seems slow to us because he's not willing that any will perish. But when he knows the last righteous person uh, has called upon Jesus as Savior, and when God sees that the wickedness is so destroying the world and so distressing his own people, he is going to rapture us out of here. As the Bible says, we will be caught up together with Jesus to meet him in the air before the time of the seven years of tribulation on the earth. That's the set point.